Hey everyone, so for today's video, I'm going to be walking you through my entire cream bronzer collection. So I'm going to be doing like quick little reviews, swatches, and just sharing with you all all of the cream bronzers that I have and have been trying out. I only have a couple more videos during one week of cream bronzer and I realized that there were a lot of gaps and there would be quite a few cream bronzers that I wouldn't be able to incorporate into my next videos. So I wanted to do this video to kind of fill in those gaps, but honestly, the videos that I have coming out this weekend, I think I'm the most excited about those videos. At the same time, I definitely wanted to mention some of these items as well. So buckle up, this is gonna be a long one, and make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you do enjoy it. All right, let's just jump right in. Here is the first bronzer right on the top. It also happens to be pretty dirty. <laughs> so this is from Patrick Ta, and what shade is this? This is She Statuesque, I believe, it's the lightest shade also if your makeup doesn't look like this then you do a much better job than i do but i am messy when i put on makeup so i i have to tell you that i really really adore the cream within this product and i actually reach for it quite a lot it reminds me of the tom ford shade and illuminate like it has a very very similar formula to that and i have always found that though it's really expensive that cream is really well formulated i think something weird starts to happen when i apply the the powder on top of it I'm still trying to get used to this. I think that there is the potential for this to work for me. I just have to find the right brush. This is another one I'm gonna have to keep you guys updated on. Where are all the shades I have? So these are the new So Soft Face Plays from M Cosmetics. And you can see they're also kind of dirty. I apologize about that, but it wasn't necessarily my fault this time because as you can see, when they arrived, it looked like that. Well, this one did. Some of them are fine, but I don't really blame M Cosmetics just because it's they were sitting out on my porch and you know it was like 90 degrees outside. But here are the four different shades that I have. So this is the shade Summer. I really, really like this shade. You can see immediately that these are pigmented. These are very, very creamy and have Again, just a, a ton of pigment, so you really don't need much. This is the shade Nomadic, right next to it. And also something with Summer that I wanted to mention is that there is like a touch of a sparkle throughout here, but it's weird. I don't really see it on my skin, but I do see it within the bullet. And then over here we have Pangea. And then lastly, the shade that I have also really been liking is Terra, which is the one that is a little bit <laughs> messy. So let me swatch this one for you guys too. And then there is Terra. That one's really nice if you want to kind of shape out the face and you have more fair skin. So those are the four shades that I have. Formula wise, I have to tell you, I've been a little bit frustrated with them just because some days they look really, really good and they have almost like a beautiful kind of smoothing effect to them. And then other days they don't want to stick to my skin. And I've talked about that before. Um, sometimes some bronzers, they, they just don't want to stick to my skin. I don't know what it is, but that means I'm really picky with cream bronzers. Some days they blend really nicely and then other days... I'm like really trying to pat them in and they're just not sticking to some areas of my skin. Um, but you can see again, they're really, really beautifully creamy and they have a really nice kind of airbrush texture. I think these might just be one of those formulas that don't get along with my skin, but I will hopefully keep you guys updated. I definitely need to clean these. Okay, I'm gonna kind of bounce around here. This is from Ulta Beauty. It is the Oh My Glow Cream Bronzer. This is the shade Mocha. And I wanted to quickly mention this. Um, I'm going to talk about this more in my best and worst affordable cream bronzer video. Video is coming out soon. I'll leave my whole playlist linked down below in case you're watching this um, next week, but this is one of those cream bronzers at an affordable price where I'm like, damn, they're onto something. This has a really nice kind of translucence to it that you can 
See, sometimes that can really translate to looking patchy, but whatever Ulta did with this new formula, this is a newer formula to Ulta, I really like it. And it's especially good for really sheer coverage makeup. So I think it's definitely a winner. And I'll give you guys more details about this in that video. Next we have this one from Well People. It's the Bio Bronzer. And a lot of you guys wanted me to try this one out. I actually have had it for a long time, but I have to tell you, so, this is what I'm talking about when I say that it has kind of a sheerness to it that for some reason looks patchy. It looks patchy on my skin. There's definitely a fine line. I think that some cream bronzers have to walk where there's not enough pigment and it's too sheer so that it looks patchy or there's just that right amount of pigment. So I wanted to do that quick comparison for you guys. However, this is a really, really pretty shade. It actually kind of reminds me of the Undone Beauty water bronzer, if you are familiar with that. I used to have that, but I would say go with the Undone Beauty one over this one from Well People because the Undone Beauty one is more inexpensive or you could go with the one from Ulta. Next, we have this little palette from Salt New York. You'll hear more about this soon, but I absolutely adore these textures. And I used to think that this was a kind of formula that I would only use with a sponge. Then I started using these with um, my stipple brush, my e.l.f. stipple brush. I'll leave it linked down below. It's like my favorite brush to apply cream product. And I realized just how effortlessly these can also blend with a brush. Something just really nice about this formula. I love the emollients that they have and the creaminess, but I don't know if you can tell, they're still not super thick, which I think is what kind of makes them unique. I'll get more into this formula later this week, but I wanted to kind of show you my swatches real fast. So this is the light bronze. This is an excellent, excellent color if you are very, very fair. We have light medium. That is also a really nice color. I like to kind of mix around these two. Over here is the contour, I believe. Yes, that's the contour. Also a really nice color. And then over here is medium. And I like to just include medium if I want to add um, a little bit of warmth. I almost use medium as like a blush. This is certainly a really, really beautiful formula. Now, a formula that I'd like to give another try, this is the Inner Glow Cream Pigment in Eros. Even with a light hand, I kind of have trouble with it. Um, I think that Ritual Defeat really has some beautiful, beautiful blushes. I would love to see them come out with bronzers just because I love all of their formulas. So even though this one isn't one that I would go out on a limb and recommend, I do think that they would come out with a beautiful formula. I just realized I have a couple more of the Salt New York bronzers. So let me give you more swatches. Um, I don't keep these in my palette just because they're not my shade, but this is the shade Deep over here. And then I also have the shade, I think it's medium deep. I think this is medium deep, but the sticker got cut off. And then there is that other shade. So just for your reference. All right, let's venture forth the Say Sun Melt. You guys are gonna be hearing a lot about this on my channel. Um, I think I kind of like already showed my cards. This is absolutely, absolutely, beautiful. I am actually wearing this today. And the reason why I've been wearing it and using it so much is that it's just so, it's so easy. It wants to blend so easily. I, I've been using this with my e.l.f. stipple brush and just absolutely loving the like airbrush light, beautifully creamy quality that this gives to your skin. But then I used it today with a dry um, sponge and I was just like, holy crap such even beautiful pigment and it just looks good every single time I wear it. I really like this shade for me as well. So yeah, I just can't say enough good things about this bronzer. This is a bronzer I need to keep trying. It's from Persona and this is the shade Dune. The reason why I haven't really been talking about this yet is that this shade is just not great for me. But that being said, it's hard because I like, with a shade like this, I don't really want to go out in it. <laughs> However, I did try their E-Balm, I believe it's called. It's their like hydrating balmy lip stick and holy crap, it's really, really beautiful. Let's quickly talk about the I'm Mimi. This is their multi-stick 
and it is their bronzer shade and I really 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 like this it's affordable unfortunately i think it's like the only shade that they have come out with affordable and very blendable and pretty so next we have this one from tower 28 it's the bronzino cream blush and this is the shade west coast so um though i don't really like this formula i i don't like the way it, it just doesn't like to blend on my skin however if you know of a bronzer with this kind of tone please let me know down below. I really, really like this color. I think it's quite unique. So let me know if you have um, something similar in your collection. Next up, we have this bronzer from Danessa Myricks. So let me actually pull out the other one that I have. So I have this one, the Power Bronzer Bronzing Cream. And then over here, I have the Balm. So really fast, I wanted to let you guys know that this formula, I absolutely love and recommend. It also has a better shade selection. So this is the shade Light 2. And I really, really like this shade. The reason why is that you can see there's a little bit of olive to it, which I think can be difficult to find. And sometimes, you know, I don't have olive in my skin, but sometimes it's nice to play around with a color like this, especially if like I have a self tan that leans a little bit more olive. You guys see any of the olive? It might be kind of difficult to see on camera, but I absolutely, absolutely love this formula. It walks that perfect line between being that really beautiful balmy texture that can sheer out really beautifully and also still blending nicely. It doesn't look choppy or patchy. So this formula, I remember seeing something online that it was limited edition and I think they decided to not make it limited edition. I'm really, really hoping that they didn't. Um, but Actually, now that I think about it, this formula is like a more pigmented version of the one from Tom Ford, the shade in Illuminate. Yeah, this one has a little bit more pigment. The packaging isn't as nice, but it is also kind of reminiscent of it. The reason I haven't been reaching for this is that for some reason on my skin, this pulls really orange. Beautiful, beautiful formula though. I hope they create more shades, but, but even formula wise, I do like this one more. All right, and then here are a couple from Fenty. I'm not gonna stick here for too long because I feel like I talk about these bronzers a lot on my channel and I'll probably keep mentioning them later this week, but this is the Cheeks Out in Butter Biscuit. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Love this one and it's just such an easy bronzer. Like it looks good every time and it's not going to give you any trouble. And then this is the Mocha matchstick and the reason i really love this one and i have to i have to say that like i didn't want to use this one for a very long time because i was under the impression that this formula was very matte and drying and would look kind of waxy on the skin but i really believe that there's something that happens so you can see the formula is incredibly stiff but something happens when you use like a dry sponge or a stipple brush. If you just very lightly apply this to the skin, I think it's partially this shade for me I really like, but it just looks like actual tanned skin. So can you see even just within like the finish of these, this has way more of a dewy finish, which I love and I think looks really, really beautiful. But there's something that looks really realistic about this formula and it's partially because of the texture. Like it's just so skin-like. So I have definitely been a fan of this one for a long time and this one as well. Next we have the Makeup by Mario Soft Sculpting Sticks. So this is the shade Light. And I also wanted to mention, I think something really interesting about these sticks is that he wanted to create shades that would both add warmth to the skin and like a bronzed look, but also kind of softly shape and sculpt the face. And I thought that that was a really smart way to approach the line. So you can even see here that this is the light shade. This one is going to be way better for more fair skin. But I think that this light medium shade is really pretty. And it's usually the one that I'm reaching for. These have a really beautiful 
kind of like middle of the road texture. They want to build on top of each other very easily. The pigmentation is very, very even. And I find that because they have a nice creaminess to them, but they're not super, super emollient, they last really well. So I think that these are definitely some of my new favorites. Oh my gosh, all of these need to be wiped down at some point today. So let's keep going. This is the e.l.f. Putty Cream Bronzer in Tan Lines. This is definitely a favorite. They still go down to that cream to powder finish. Really beautiful if you like that very thin on the skin, kind of seamless bronzed look. I really, really enjoy the way that they blend and last on my skin. This is a great shade too. I'm so glad that e.l.f. came out with so many different shades because a lot of affordable makeup does not come in a lot of shades. Next, we have the e.l.f. Cream Contour Palette. So a quick note about like contouring versus bronzing. I think like a good way to look at it is that Bronzers add warmth to the skin. They give you that like sun-kissed kind of glow and contours more so kind of shape the face and they typically have a little bit more of a cool undertone. But I think at the end of the day, don't really pay too much attention to how a brand is like marketing it. Once you find that perfect bronzer shade, if it happens to be listed as a contour, like just use it as a bronzer. It doesn't, it doesn't really matter. You know what I mean? So here are all four of those shades. You can see like these two are typically what I like to mix. I never use that at all. And this one is a bit deeper, so I don't really pick that one, but yeah, I find that this is not the most long lasting cream bronzer, but I do think that it looks really pretty on the skin. So I would say, you know, when you're dealing with cream bronzers at the drugstore, like with a formula like this, I would just take the time to kind of set it so you can set it with a powder, whether that is a powder bronzer, or you can also set it with a translucent powder that's just going to make them last a little bit longer and kind of set down in. Next, we have this one from Soul Body, and this is the Face and Bronzing Balm. I have the shade Light, I believe. Yes, this is the shade Light. And I have already talked about this, but unfortunately, I am not a huge fan of this color. It looks quite orange on me, um, but I really love everything else about this formula. It has quite a strong fragrance to it that I don't like, but aside from that, the formula is really nice and blends very well on the skin. And I actually find that the formula is quite different. It's quite unique out of all of the cream bronzers I have. It walks this really beautiful line between being kind of a gel, kind of like a gel cream formula that is more stiff. Actually, if you guys are familiar with the ColourPop blushes, the stick blushes, to me, this that's kind of the closest formula that I've tried that is similar to this. It makes for a really beautiful blend and it looks really flattering on the skin, um, but I, I just don't like this color. It's really difficult to find the right colors within this line just because I don't think they have enough resources available. And I've seen online that I'm not the only person that can't figure out what color they are in that line. Next, we have a couple of sticks from Wet n Wild and this is the shade Oaks on You. And then I have this one that is has been broken and then this is Call Me Maple. So I typically like to mix these if I want to reach for this formula, but I have to say that it's it's just one of those things. It looks really nice once it's applied on the skin, but I always feel like it's just not quite the right color. So it's not something that I'm reaching for a lot. But that being said, if you think that either of these colors or them mixed together would be a good, my camera cut off and I'm not sure when it did. But what I was saying though, is that if you think either of these colors would work for you or them mixed together, like I just mixed, then I would recommend these. They're very affordable and I find that the pigmentation and the texture is really nice and they actually last quite a long time too. Next, I have this little mini from Milk Makeup. I really, really like this cream bronzer and I have for a really long time. I just really enjoy the texture. I love the way that it blends on my skin and I think that it's just one of the first cream bronzers that I found that had the perfect texture that wanted to um, adhere to the skin and give you a really beautiful blend while also not being 
really emollient to the point where it kind of slips around on the skin or wears off really quickly. This was just a really nice mid ground for me. So, so I really, really enjoy this formula. We have this J-Cat Masterclass palette and this is the medium deep. I'm gonna talk more about this in the other affordable drugstore video I have, but if you're looking for an affordable palette to kind of mix and match some colors for you to get kind of that perfect bronzed look. This is a really great palette to do so. Sorry, those swatches aren't incredible. They kind of got mixed together, but you have a lot of options here and it also offers you the opportunity to like really hone in the perfect undertone, which I know is something that I've been talking about a lot this week. I believe this is technically a foundation palette and the texture is a little bit thicker and they have like they obviously have coverage to them which can either be a good or a bad thing like if you want a really uber natural looking cream bronzer like this isn't going to look quite as natural just because they do have coverage but that being said if you have like pigmentation this could be a really interesting way for you to be able to bronze the skin but also kind of cover that pigmentation i definitely have had the issue where i apply like a cream bronzer and then the pigmentation under the cream bronzer kind of shines through more because of the bronzer like taking away coverage if that makes sense so this could be a really good way of combating that. And lastly, we have a couple more cream bronzers. I, so I did a comparison video between all of the bronzers I have in like this format, but this one from Anastasia Beverly Hills, it's still a new product. This is the shade Sunkissed. I really, really adore this cream bronzer. It just, it has a beautiful, even smoothness that actually translates to the skin. It just looks really, really beautifully natural. And it's just one of those cream bronzers that I'm excited to keep using. And I, and I also talked about this one from NARS. I know a lot of people in the comments were saying that this one worked out for them, but this one just didn't work out for me. Some days it looked good and some days it looked bad. And this is a really silicone heavy formula and silicone heavy formulas I tend to find can be like some of people's favorite formulas and they look really natural and lightweight and beautiful on their skin. But my skin does not like those kinds of formulas. And it's actually the case too with more silicone heavy blushes. It's the same thing with like translucent setting powders. If those products have too much silicone, they do not look good on my skin. So though this one didn't work for me, I do know other people with a different experience and that's everything. So I hope that you guys enjoyed today's video. Thank you so, so much for watching. I will leave all of these products linked down below. I'll also link this brush as well that I was talking about earlier. I will also have a playlist for one week of cream bronzer available to you guys, as well as my declutter playlist and my makeup collection videos. If you guys like these more long form videos where you get to take a look at all of the makeup that I have. So thank you guys so much again for watching and I will see you all in my next one.